Hey guys, if you want to learn how to put gradients behind your fancy pants lettering in Canva and for your posters and whatever, well stick with me because I'll show you two different versions for free. No need for that premium Canva stuff. We could get this look for free using Canva for free. Let's do it. So we're going to go to a new page and I'm going to get rid of everything there. Okay, we're going to start from scratch by putting in a text box to our left. And I'm going to find a good thick text that I think I can work with. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm going to write the word great. Instead of fabulous this time, let's make great. Any title that you want. Okay, that is great. Make it nice big. All right, so I'm going to change the color to white, which will be whited out. I'm going to tap into the main part here. Then I'm going into elements. And I need to go in to shapes. So I'm looking for the square shape. Let's bring it to the corner. And as you can see, great's there. And we're going to bring it right down here. And I'm going to leave it like that. Now I am not going to download this as a PNG via this way because it's going to cost me. Canva are going to ask me to upgrade to premium. I'm not going to do that. I'm doing a get around. So I'm going to make a screenshot of this whole page. And that screenshot's going straight to my desktop. I'm going to go to a new page and I'm going to my desktop that's off screen. And I'm going to open up that shot that I took just before of great. Okay, so there it is. Now, because I'm on a Mac, I can do this quite easily. So I'm going to go up to the little pin up here. Oh, there's a markup toolbar, but it's, I call it a little pin. Now we've tapped on that. We're going to go to here. This is under photos, guys. So it works with any photos. Go to the magic wand, and then you're going to go into the G, and then you're going to delete. So it goes orange, then delete it. Do the same for the R and the E and the A and the T. Make sure that you don't do the same with the black. That needs to stay black and all of these are now transparent on the inside if you get my gist. So now I'm going to click out of there and I'm going to drag that same picture from my desktop and put it onto Canva. So we're going to drag it in there. So that's great. Move it down. Fantastic. Now I'm going into elements and I'm going to, I could use a gradient color if I wanted to at the end of behind it. Unfortunately, a lot of these are pro, which means I can't use them because they have those, that watermark on it, which can get very annoying, but I can use this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. I might use this one. So all you do is tap into it, it goes onto your page there, you're going to move it up and you're going to make sure that it covers all of the word. About there is fine. Now it's selected, go to position and then click it and then go to backwards and keep clicking. Great! And there you have your gradient title. And I'm now going to do this on another page to see what other very good looking titles that we could use instead, like Fabulous down here. Go back into Elements, and all of these could work. This is nice blue one would work too. You've got blue, purple, and you've got a bit of pink there. Position, backwards, and that's okay. As you can see, it's got a little bit of the white coming through because it didn't delete the inner part of the letters perfectly. So that's okay. I might click out of that and not use that. I now need to use a lighter color. So maybe blue. The, ah, it's bro. I can't use that. It's got a water, watermark on it. We could use pink. I think we can use this one. Let's have a look. Position backwards. That looks really good against the black. So we could totally use that one and that one. I'm going to use another one. So let's grab the same image in, even though it's here, I'm just gonna grab it again. Let's find another color. So we're going to go this time to background and all of these beautiful colors can go behind it. And voila, so I've got this one here, which was that color. I'm going to go to, actually I'll just duplicate, move that over and get rid of the background. Let's find another background that we could use instead. Now with unpaid, so that's the free version, you don't get a lot of backgrounds, but some of them are quite cute. So that one could work quite well. That one looks good. 
and let's just do one more move that over delete and we'll find something through photos now so I might just go bright and all these beautiful colors come through a lot of them are pro some of them will be free this one might work this one would have been nice that would have been beautiful let's go and still hunt for something free actually this one might look quite good let's have a look okay so as you can see so now I'm just going to take a screenshot of all of them together so that you can see what they all look like and look your favorite ones. And these were all done for free and quite easily too. There's not an easy feature to make letters transparent that I know of yet. Free version that is. Okay, let's go and grab them. Great, here we all are. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video on how to make letters, gradients, or with whatever beautiful pictures you want behind them. Okay, here we are. So we're going to go into elements right here and we're going to put shaped letters and actually the frame. So, you know, what is this? We're gonna go into see all and there's heaps of different types of letters here but if you wanted your own like I was showing you you can just use the text that's already there for free you know so let's have a look at the different text they've got here in Canva they've got some good options actually we're going to go for a kind of plainish none of this stuff because it's just I don't know, it's just a bit much so let's go for R your typical R and we're just going to do something like I don't know rain or Let's go for an A. We'll do lowercase this time, just cause. I think we'll do rain, because rain's such an exciting word, isn't it? Okay, let's do that. We need an N. Anybody see an N? I'll put N. Then voila, we've got some N. So I think we might use that one. It is a bit confusing. That's quite a big N. Is there a skinny little N? We'll use this one instead. So the font can be a bit confusing, but you just got to play around with it. Okay, now just like that, we've got our font there. Now this is where you can insert. Let's go to elements again. Let's go for gradient papers. I was going to see all, and all of these would work. They're quite pretty it's pro though anything not pro we will find a non-pro somewhere this one's quite cool what we're going to do is we'll make it a bit smaller and just like that and you can do it with every single one you've got eyes great let's do rain let's do the a and it's a lot quicker than the first option i showed you and if you wanted to Put a black border weight around it that's all you need to do is you just select them go up to the border store style and go to border weight here now what is this well that's something you I rounded the corners a little bit so I'm going to copy I'm going to paste so I'm going to try out a new set of colors behind there and as you can see when you double click I can just get rid of them again I'm deleting Okay, let's go for another one. Gradient papers. I might go for a background just to see if this works or not. It may not, not like I showed you before. I kind of doubt it does. Let's just pick something random, like the same color I had. No, it just goes on the background, which you may want, but you may not. So let's just go out of there again. The interesting thing is, guys, is you can go into uploads here and upload your own digital paper. Now, I just found one from my desktop basically and I found these cats so I made this from mid journey this particular one and that actually works really well so let's go grab it grab it again and one more time 
and it's quite satisfying when you snap it in there. So there are two different ways. There's this way here and there's this way here. I would say this way would be the easier one because you, you can do it letter by letter and you can move them rather than a set and taking a screenshot of them. But they all work. In fact, my favorite would have to be my own papers that I created from Mid Journey. You can use Dali E to create your own digital papers as well. And they look really good, especially against white. But I hope I taught you something new. Go out and get creative, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you get something out of it and you make some great posters and things like that. Do like, share and subscribe. And best of all, I'll see you in the next video. Okay.